Hi everyone, welcome. This is the last video for the production planning and optimization uh, lot size determination uh, model uh, video series. And uh, in the first video, we have used the Excel solver to determine the production uh, quantities, the lot sizes, to minimize the total cost. In the second video, we have used the silver mill heuristic, but we just used it by hand. Actually, we just used Excel like a table, just we entered numbers. This is the worst way of treating Excel. Uh, I am sorry, Excel, on behalf of all of us that we have really used you as a table instead of, uh, you know, used utilizing your functions. So please forgive us. But then, uh, now in the third one, in the third video right now, we are going to just use the VBA to implement that silver meal heuristic. And uh, what happens here is the heuristic is going to take the demand values and it is going to calculate the average cost up to amounts. And then from those, it is going to uh, put the production quantities for every average cost that ends up to be a 40 as and it is going to sum up all these demand values for that uh, until the next uh, average cost up to value goes back to the ordering cost per order uh, becoming $40. So how does it work? If I go to Alt and F11 together on my keyboard so it opens the Visual Basic for applications. If you haven't used VBA before, this is not a VBA course. I will uh, briefly go over what I have done here. But I need help uh, if you are a better VBA user. I need help in terms of changing this from a macro to a function. So what I want is, I want a function and in the function I want to for example be able to write a equals silver mill okay and then it is going to take one argument as the demand values and then the second argument to be holding cost the third argument would be the ordering cost and then I want to be able to make this as an array function just to paste on top of uh, let's say the column D and then control shift enter and I want to be able to kind of get all these numbers as an array function so what we could do is like collectively if we could just come up with that it would be a fun thing to do or sh uh, give it to the uh, back to the academic community or the, or maybe the people in the industry okay so maybe you know uh, uh, Excel may take our silver mill function and just put it in the next uh, Excel version. Anyhow, so we don't have it yet. If you can find it, please comment below and we could just utilize it and maybe create a video for that. So here's what I have done. I have just defined all these uh, variables. Some of them are arrays and I get all the inputs. And then what happens here, I take the the R values so I take this R values are my the my demand values okay so these are 2, 12, 4 I put them in a, in an array and then I use this loop to calculate the average cost up to values and then uh, I paste the cost values back to column uh, C and after that, using the cost values, I put all the values of uh, the cumulative demand values for every occurrence of 40 in the as the production quantity amount. So I was trying this and I asked a question in Mr. Excel forum and someone uh, graciously agreed to kind of provide a response and I, I like that solution here so I just implemented it here I just put it there so it, what if you have a production plan that doesn't have only 12 values but 365 or 52 weeks 
or maybe a couple of years with uh, every day production plan, etc. So what you need to do is you need to modify this uh, and just change this to like for example instead of from 1 to 12 you make it 2 on 2 let's say 365 or 52 etc make minor modifications to this and it should serve a purpose for you as well and uh, the it just works like you just click on calculate and it just runs by itself so let's just do a calculate and you can also put the inventory amounts here you can do the inventory amounts in the VBA so you can calculate the inventory amounts in there or you could just do this as an Excel function and production quantity minus the demand and then here the earlier inventory plus the production quantity minus demand and here from the second inventory amount you could just go back down and you can just determine the production quantities and inventories right away so let's just calculate it and this is that and the cost is going to be then uh, we have the inventories we have the orders so what's going to happen is it's going to be equal to uh, all these values the sum of those values sum of the inventory amounts times the holding cost plus the number of occurrences of production quantities so which is let's say count if in here and the criteria is if they are greater than zero okay and I put it in a quotation mark times 40 and when I do that it just turns out to be 295 this count if function will bring out 1 2 3 4 and then 4 times 40 plus 1 times the sum of this inventory amounts is going to provide you the the total cost let's say now let's just change this demand amounts let's say the demands are I'm just gonna enter some random demand values 25 12 45 80 26 and then 70 etc now I change the demand values let's just make the holding cost less 50 cents ordering cost more $60 okay we're just making some changes calculate so it just does the calculation and we are seeing that the new production quantity is found directly and the total cost is 416.50 let's see if the solver is going to come up with the same solution as this one so we go to the optimization change this demand okay and then uh, this 0.5 and 60 as in the optimization 0.5 and 60 then I have to run the solver as you can see that it just runs for a while and it says it did not say that it's the optimal it says it found a solution with a certain tolerance and here these are the production orders 82 120 76 and 90 and so the production quantities are actually not the same so this one the heuristic brought us 416.5 and the optimization bring us 386.5 so the optimization was able to find the almost the best solution we cannot prove that it's the best solution but the optimization was able to give us the, the a better solution than the heuristic but the heuristic was faster as we can see here okay so for 16.5 and 386.5 let's just change this uh, production quantities let's see take these and paste it in there to see if everything is, is good 
So here, if these are the production quantities, I need to change this back to one and then zero, one, one, zero. So 416.5. So this is the heuristic solution. And if I solve from the heuristic solution, the optimization changes the heuristic solution and comes up with a better solution for us. So this is about it. And thanks for watching.